Hey Pisces, let's do another um, reading for you for a weekly Love Connections reading. Um, for those of you who are wanting to get insights with regards to your Love Connections. So I've done a couple of readings for this week for you. And if none of those are resonating or if you feel like you need additional insights with regards to your situation, this could be a reading for you. Okay, so let's see. What do you have? Um, what do we have for Pisces in love? Pisces in love. Their current feelings towards Pisces. For those uh, Pisces who are dealing with someone or you have someone in mind right now. Let's see. Pisces, love. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, and love. All right, first card out. Oh, <laughs> first card, Pisces, the Hermit. No wonder why I am feeling as the you know I'm feeling like I need to to do a reading for Pisces today. Okay. You have the Hermit to start with. <laughs> uh, Eight of Pentacles. The Knight of Cups, the Moon, that's you, the Ten of Cups, the Star, the King of Cups, uh -huh. the Four of Cups. Page of Cups, the Two of Swords, let's see what that is, a Ten of Pentacles, oh wow, and the Ten, and the Two of Wands, you have Ten of Pentacles, you have Ten of um, Cups, but you've got Two of Wands here, Double Tens, Double Twos, at the bottom of the deck, there you are, we have the Nine of Swords. All right, Pisces. Um, I can't blame you why you are worrying or why you are not able to sleep at night um, in the last few days, perhaps, or the last few weeks. Yeah, you have a situation here where it's it filled with it feel yeah. It's filled with a lot of uncertainty, um, perhaps even lack of clarity. You have someone here that you have deep feelings with, right? Or somebody that you love, somebody that um, you want to be more romantically involved even. And I feel like you have gotten to a point in the past where you probably have expressed that. Yeah. Um, but it feels like this person is not really giving you um it's not really giving you some form of confirmation on where you stand in their life or what what you both have right now you know what this is is it just friendship or is it just your your um messing around yeah in the middle of the night whatever this is yeah there's a lot of uncertainty here and I feel like you have initiated some conversation sometime in the past but nothing has been really um, decided yeah so if there are things here Pisces if you wanted clarity about what this person's intentions are towards you um, if you're wanting to talk to them, if there is, you know, if they want to be in relationship with you or if they want to pursue this connection with you, it feels like this person kept you in in that space of continued wondering. Yeah. There there wasn't any decision made and um somehow you might have even um continued waiting, yeah waiting for this person to decide or waiting for them to change the course of action 
Yeah. So you have been in that crossroads of what is this? Am I supposed to wait or should I go? Or, you know, you are in that situation. And it's it's actually giving you a lot of this anxiety too. Yeah, It's not really healthy in the sense because I feel like for some of you, you may even be taking medicines to, you know, um, or tranquilizers to peace, to give peace into your into your night times yeah um this person pisces this person i can see that you have feelings for them and definitely definitely this person is actually um contemplating about how they feel towards this connection with you there are feelings there for sure for this person they do feel something for you but in the sense of is it is my feelings for Pisces going to get me into the Ten of Cups energy? Is this truly what I want? Yeah. So I can see why you are worried about you know where you stand and um what this is all about and especially you're worried or you know, you're just anxious why things are not really concrete, especially if you have friends around you, Pisces, where they have you know, they have partners and you can see that their partners are very straightforward in their intentions towards them. You would wonder why, in your case, why is it so hard to achieve that Ten of Cups? Why is it so hard for this person to really concretize things with you? But again, I think similar to my previous reading for you, it is not about you. Because this person right here has has some baggages that they have to to work on yeah it's it's on them it's it's more about them understanding what they want from a relationship before they can even think about what they want from you what their intentions are from you yeah definitely this person wants to be supported definitely they want to be around people who love them and you're one of them, right? So if you love this person, you're around them, you're giving them support, definitely they want to be around you. Yeah. But the thing is, the thing is, are they able to give you back? Yeah. The love that you want to make you feel satisfied. Are they able to give it to you? Because it feels like this person right now is showing like, um, you know, they are open to be with you, but they are not really open to the extent that um, they will show interest in, in having this Ten of Cups with you. Yeah, You both want happiness. You both want relationship. You both want um, stability, emotional happiness. Yeah, You both want to be loved, but the question is, do you both want to be loved by each other? Yeah. Because why is it that somebody here is wondering what's next or somebody is kept hanging while the other party is like not showing much interest in progressing a situation? So you have the same goals in mind, but is it with one another? Right? I think that's the main question here. And the question for that, I think it's more about towards the, your person. Yeah, because for you, I can see that you are pretty much, um, you know, you have this this desire and um, your feelings for them. You may already have expressed it to them. It's more about now for this person to really dig deeper and contemplate what do they really want and what do they really want from you. Yeah, so it's more about what do they really want from a Pisces. Why are they hanging around? Yeah, it's more like that. And... Um, I do see, though, that uh, that's a question that you have right now, Pisces. Is there current feelings towards you? So that's it. They want to be around you. Yeah, they have feelings for you. But is it or has it reached a point of clarity, at least for them, right? That um, this is how they feel and this is what they're going to do with their feelings. So for now, this person is just living in oblivion. The moon is like you have these feelings, but you just don't. It's just so deep that you can't even understand it for now. So that's that's where um, that's where this person is right now. 
Yeah. Um, okay, so that feels like a downturn, right? Okay, so let's move on to the immediate future, though. The way I see it here, Pisces, is that th this phase that you have right now, you may feel it, you know, you may continue to feel this um, anxiousness or just being uncertain about things or being restless even, I think, in the next two weeks. But after that, you will see um, some changes in terms of this person's approach towards you. Yeah. For some of you, Pisces, this could very well mean that after two, week, two weeks from now, two to three weeks from now, there could be a new love coming. Yeah, a new love coming towards you, which could definitely give you that Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, your next best relationship. It could be, it could, or it could be, it could not be this person. It could be this person or a new person. But there is someone new coming into your life. Yeah. Um, yeah, there's someone new that's coming into your life, and I do see that you would um, then put a lot of effort, you know, the, the effort that you have been putting in relationships that never really worked for you. Once you put it into this new person, it's going to head towards happiness, stability, relationship, commitment. Yeah. So there's there's one coming for you. There's a new one, Pisces. I'm not going to say it's unexpected, but because I feel like you will find this person in, in your usual routes, you know, if you are, I see this person could be creative, has that creative side of them, or you will, you will meet this person in, in, in areas where you, I don't know, it could be a charity ball, it could be a, um, um, Activities, studios, you know, where you hang out and do enjoy time for your passion, right? So if you love singing, if you love dancing, if you love, I don't know, giving money <laughs> and charity. So wherever you spend your time with, yeah, um, I feel like this is where you will meet that person. Yeah. I feel like this person will be very much interested in you and you will love the feeling of being interested, yeah. Yeah, you will love the feeling that they are interested in you. So, and slowly but surely, you will then focus on this relationship. Yeah, and I feel like this person will not let you go until you get into that form of commitment. And that's why it's going to be your next best thing, next best relationship. Yeah. Now, with regards to the to those of you who are still wondering about you know that person. <clears throat> um. I feel like that per the other person that we're talking about earlier, you know, that person who give you this form of anxiety sometimes, I feel like this person will will need some time to get their thoughts together, to get their actions straight, right? Or to get their actions together before they can truly manifest new things with you. Yeah. Um, I feel like they will approach you soon enough with new ideas about what they want to do and um or new ideas it could even be uh, i don't know for some of you this could be this person wanting to open up and you know giving you i feel like the, yeah they will open up and could even be um asking for apology yeah, for not being straightforward with you in the first place. But I feel they would be starting to open up in, in terms of how they feel, um, what they think about this situation. But Pisces, again, that can only happen if or once this person is able to sort things out on their own. Yeah. And when that happens, Pisces, you'll end up having two options. This person and the new person that... Um, I can see here clearly. Yeah. There are two people in your future who would be focusing on you, Pisces. <laughs> and you will then find yourself in, in, in a situation where you gotta choose. For now, you may even think that you would choose this other person that you already know. But soon enough, once you get to know the other person, 
the new person in your life and you see what they can offer, you see what this person brings to the table, you will find yourself at the crossroads because it's two viable options. And even if this is a new person coming into your life, they're bringing a lot of good stuff yeah, for you that makes you happy, that you will know, yeah, you will know that will make you happy in the long run. There's also attraction there, Pisces, so <laughs> that makes it harder to decide, yeah? <laughs> I feel like you will have more options soon. Yeah. Starting after two weeks from now, things will start to, you will start to feel that form of, you know, a lot of things are coming your way. New things coming your way. New love is coming your way. All right, Pisces, I'm going to leave it at that and let me know if this resonates in your situation. Let me know in the comment section below and don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And also, again, I want to plug in this book. Um, it's Divine Time. I know that a lot of you have already gotten this book, but for those of you who haven't, this is a mystical tale of finding one true love in Divine Time. Um, I have this book available in... Um, uh, Amazon, both in paperback and Kindle version. Okay, and also keep posted in my website nomadsoulwarrior.com because that's where I will be posting new um my new tarot deck. Yeah, so I'm releasing a new tarot deck, and um, the characters that I have designed in in those tarot decks are actually the characters of the book. So if you're interested to know more about it. Uh, check out the book and check out my website. There will be upcoming um, postings there for for this new uh, tarot deck as well as the tarot deck uh, as well as the book. I'll also be posting there for book bundles for the holiday season. All right, so keep posted. Thank you, Pisces.